On today's video, I wanna give you a sneak peek into one of our office hours calls where I work deeply with a student on his personal brand in working on both how to strategically and also technically design a website for himself that would represent the brand he wants to create for himself. All of our students, when they join Flux Academy, they get access to our mentoring to give them feedback on their work in office hours calls together with me. And in these calls, we go deep into trying to help you uh, tackle your problems and make you a better designer. And this is a sneak peek into how these calls look like. I think you will learn a lot from how I work with Andre on his website. Enjoy it. In the past few weeks, I've worked on uh, developing a website for my personal brand as a designer. And I wanted to show uh, what I did and my prototype for now. Okay, uh, so I've done uh, multiple uh, versions and I ended up working on something like this. Uh, so this is the hero section. I, I've noticed in many designers that they have this proposition in saying, hey, my name is, I'm doing this for, and they choose like a niche or something. I don't know. I haven't done this year. I, I just let some kind of mystery, you know, just showcasing uh, this photo with, and uh, having this web designer. But at least they know my... Uh, uh, yeah, profession. What do you profession, do? Yeah. What do you sell? Yeah. So, <clears throat> what is this website, which is important? You go into this section with my expertise across, and I, I've made these three things, brand identity, web design, and development. Uh, I wanted to make, the thing is, I think I'm a little bit limited by what, what I can accomplish by uh, uh, the development side when you can actually implement animations and things like that. Uh, but I, I, I was thinking about a hover effect or something when you click over, you have some interactions and you can click it, click it, uh, click it and then uh, you can go directly on the, um, how can I, on the section. In, in which yep. you want to... Uh, yeah, it's going to scroll into the relevant section yeah. where you're going to be able to see some works. So in the brand identity, I was thinking about having horizontal scroll and going like this. Mm -hmm. So when you're scro scrolling... So the top, when you're in that area, the top yeah. row goes to the left, the bottom line goes to the right. Yes, exactly. Yep. And you have the Very cool. brand strategy, then creative direction and the other one, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Then... Then we have the web design section. So I, you don't have a, a, a writing or a headline here. It's introducing this mock-up. And I was thinking, I don't know how to do it, but I, I, I will learn it. I was thinking on having these devices changing um, the work that I've done, something like that. And like- Yeah, we can do that. You can do that, right? And yeah. have the uh, a static um, text there and showcase yeah. my work. Mm -hmm. Uh, after that, I'm not really sure what I can do in the development side. I just put this right there. I'm still thinking about it. That That's one thing. And then a little bit about myself. I I, um, I talk about vision, mission, uh, and my slogan, like the big idea. And I was thinking what you can scroll between them and have like a, you know, like a moving effect when you, like not reading everything at once, but you, you can see the vision so it kind of focuses, yeah, yes, focuses, focuses on. And then changes the mission and then bam. Uh, that's one thing. And then go to testimonials. Uh, I don't know if I can bring everything together in like a one one uh, section with testimonials and the contact form, or maybe just leave it like this. Because I was thinking, I don't know how, how it works, but I, I didn't want to have like a website in which you just scroll and you have... You, you like I can stop here. I, I want to have something like section after section. Like you, you, you cannot choose where to stop. It's just move from section okay. to, to another. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking okay. to combine these two into one section, uh, in which you have the testing okay. and then the contact form. <clears throat> and I was thinking about a, a nice animation when you you contact me, you get this confirmation of vision shared. And then we go with this animation in which this one replaces here. Like, you know, you have a deal. And this photo can come like this. So once you once you, once you uh, submit the form, the image change. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the button change. And the, this is the footer. And I, I think that's it for now. I'm okay. Just... <laughs> okay. So I've got a lot to say about this. Yeah. I know you. <laughs> Let me... 
Okay. Okay. So let's, you can, can you zoom out so we can kind of look maybe at the top? Let's start from the top. So actually, I think you've shared this with me or maybe just the hero sections on email a little bit ago. And I'm going to tell you or ask you pretty much again what I've said in the email. Before I'm going diving into the design of the landing page itself, I do want to talk to you about branding a little bit and the choices that you've made here. To me, this looks like a lot of the choices were, they, they remind me of the fashion world for multiple reasons. The font that you have chosen looks like the Vogue font. Do you know the Vogue font? Yeah. The Vogue magazine. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't remember if it's like a Dido or the name of the font, but it's kind of like very, very uh, common font in the fashion world. It's it been used a lot. Um, also kind of like the, the color palette, which is kind of like, again, leather and kind of like something like this and the image in which you are kind of like well-dressed and with, you know, the watch and the chair and everything, it looks like a shoot from a, a, a fashion shoot. So <laughs> on a, it's not a, necessarily a bad thing, right? Yeah, I know. But, and especially if you want to work with people in the lifestyle or fashion industries, it can mm -hmm. work, but mm -hmm. I'm going back into what you have written below about your vision for innovation and stuff like that. You have chosen things that are, I would say, more classical than innovative. This doesn't look new and fresh. It looks kind of like old school, again, premium old school. It's not necessarily a bad thing, right? A lot of people want to be kind of like old school and especially in the premium kind of like areas of, of things. I'm just trying to communicate back to you how I am reading this. Yeah, yeah. The brand identity and the color choices and 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 stuff like that. And there there is definitely kind of like a retro vibe to it because it's washed with this kind of like a grayish, bluish or greenish yeah. teal that kind yeah. of like reminds us of the Instagram photo filters and, and it's kind of like retro vibe. Yeah. So again, there's, there's, there's a little bit of what I feel like conflict between the messaging or your desire to say, you know, I am like, I stand for innovation and, and new things and necessarily, but you're showing something that is more classical. Again, it's not bad. It's just something a little bit different. Okay. Mm -hmm. now, now, technically, and, and the last thing that I said, I think on the on the email, which I will say again, is that this image shows that you are, I would say, successful or something like this because you're kind of like well-dressed, you take yourself seriously. It does not show you in the context of, you know, web design or work. In that case, for example, in the previous website that we've seen, we've seen her like working on a laptop. And so if we're thinking about, we're trying to imagine a web designer, how does he build websites? Well, he works on a computer. Right. I was thinking so about that. that's yeah. So it's, a cliche, it's right? just kind of it's, it's not necessarily that you need to show what you're doing, right? But if you are selling shoes, you will sh show shoes. And if you are selling web design or yourself as somebody who's doing web design, most likely you will put yourself or you will tell the story of here's me in a professional context. And it can be working on a computer, it can be in a workshop with a client. And you are showing kind of like the you know, you shaking heads with a client later on. Um, but that's also kind of like generic, like I'm a businessman versus, hey, I'm a designer and, you know, I work in tech, I build websites, I build digital stuff. Um, so it's helpful, I think, to put it in a context. Again, not mandatory. I don't know if you have access to that photographer again, or if you can do another photo shoot. So maybe- I'm doing everything myself. Not, okay, fantastic. So again, if if possible, I will say one thing about the crop and how this is laid out. Right now you have your name, which is in dark brown on top of, you know, the magazine. So it's like, it's difficult to read because it's dark on dark. Now you have actually a lot of, you know, clean, bright space at the top right of the corner. You know, if I was doing this, I would just crop it a little bit differently. I would move you a little bit down into the right and just 
make sure that the text is on the bright side on the, the sky or the, the window here. So it's more readable, right? And the layout will also be clear. It's not one on top of the other. It's kind of like one next to another. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I was thinking about now, placing my name, like uh, I have a crop version of myself and placing my name uh, after the magazine, creating like a- Behind. Yes, yeah. Creating like a depth or something. And the placement is- That's also great. I, I love that effect, by the way. But then you only want to do it on a tiny area of the letter because you still yes. want them. If you would right now put it behind, I couldn't read I because I wouldn't see the- O and F, and so I no, wouldn't just the, know what just your name Andre, is. Just Andre, but I still, I'm still got going it, to have got a problem of O F. I would, the... I would, I would do it on kind of like the bottom of the F. So I would take this whole thing up or move you down, and then just crop this like little bottom area here in the corner, and that would perhaps add some depth. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, 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 and maybe more to the right, but uh, not, that's. That's fine. That's yeah, exactly. That's what I meant. Now, if you, by the way, if you, if the image is, you know, cropped at the top, cause you don't have enough image there. Now, I don't know oh, if I, you have Photoshop, but now with yeah, Photoshop, you can do an everything. AI fill and it's, I did yeah, it. you can fill it up. Yeah. Yeah. I did it with generative fill anyway. A lot of, uh, yeah, yeah. The thing is I, I, when I can show you how high it's, it's well thought. Uh, this one so if you see my my foot it's exactly on the grid and the back yeah is exactly on the on this um uh, on the hamburger me menu and i placed i didn't know how to place everything i want to have this color palette here so you can see the the consistency on the color um and i i placed the foot be between the name and the call to action so I think I, have I understand you wanting to, to fit the image on the grid as well. It's you also have to think about responsiveness. Well, because mm -hmm. usually the grid and the container are fixed sized, but the background scales to fit the image. So if the image scales on a really wide screen, the size of the image is going to change and you still want the text and button to be at the same places. So you need to, you, you may not have like full control of where the image is all the time. If it's going to be responsive, you need to kind of like think about that. Okay. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's go down a little bit and see the other. And the, okay. So that was kind of like about the branding and about the hero section. I think what you've done in terms of interaction and stuff like that is pretty cool. It's going to be your first Webflow website. Okay. So there's, there's some challenging things there, but nothing okay. impossible. And I think, you know, we, we can work with you to, to accomplish all of them. The horizontal scroll is fairly easy. The probably the more creative, it's not going to be difficult, but the more creative is the your section with web design where you want the computer to be fixed. And as you're scrolling, the works are going to change. So the way that you're basically going to do that is you're going to have to create basically kind of like fixed layers inside of a very long section. And one. Most of the layers have kind of like opacity zero and you're creating an interaction, scroll interaction that as you're scrolling, when you're at some position, like layer number one becomes invisible and layer number two becomes visible. And then la layer number three, it's not very difficult, but you need to, yeah, you need to just have the, the layers kind of like ready. Right. So that's that. Oh, I actually wanted to say that I have this, I have this video in which, I don't know if you saw it's, um, it's made with the generative fill and everything is changing in, in the background. Okay. And it's it's changing here like uh, hello, ciao. Uh, so then you, want this, you want this video to be in the background? I want to be like a loading page. And, yeah, it's um, actually a cool idea. I like it. And I, I saw uh, this effect in um, in the web uh, web design uh, masterclass in which you have the image and then you you zoom in <clears throat> and i actually oh, think you feel like it feels like a magazine cover and then you scroll into it you zoom into it yeah and i think it's going to be actually nice because from the black and white you you, you can i don't know if you can do it but like have this saturation going in and see like like um yeah you can definitely do that i think yeah. it's an effect that you can do so you you pop on. You don't even have to have it as a video, by the way. You can have just separate images and you can flick through them. It's oh. probably in terms of making it more optimized. It's probably 
I don't know which one would be lighter to to load. Oh yeah, but definitely if you want to keep the last image and then you zoom into it, so it needs to be an image. Right. Then, yeah. Yeah. So, so that's uh, one idea. Again, I want I forgot to say about it. So no, that's very cool. Uh pff. All right. Uh, I'm not sure what you meant about oh, in terms of web development. Like right now, the, the logos don't look good right now. Maybe they're too big. Maybe they're very black, while everything else is kind of like brownish, and so they're kind of like taking up too much. Yeah, maybe you need to reduce their opacity a little bit. Uh, maybe you need to bring kind of like screenshots of the interface or something like that, or mm. or maybe maybe just bring app eyes you know, kind of like app icons, maybe it will look better oh. than just like three logos. Yeah, I, I here is where I, I, I'm i lacking ideas on the- But I think in this case, by the way, I think you can see what I mean where your brand on the left in terms of typography, how radically different it is than the logos on the right, which are kind of like tech web design, right? Now, again, <laughs> I'm not saying that you know, everybody should go with kind of like sans serif, bold fonts or something like this. But this is, it's important to understand the context in which you're operating with. Yeah, I understand. It's like, I kind of like, yeah. like to break the rules a little bit. Yeah, it's all right. That's all right. I, I think, I think it can have some upsides, like it can be something different and unique, but it also can be something destructive. I can say it like people can look at it and criticize and say, it's not it's, good. It's, again, it's not necessarily bad. It's not necessarily bad. Yeah. I'm just, yeah, it's just different. And sometimes different. Yeah. It's worse standing out. It's, yeah. I agree. So, so I, I really don't know what, how, what else should I change? Maybe, I mean, I don't want to change the photos and everything because it, it, where I, do you come up with this color palette? Like, why this color palette? So, Oh, it's a... You did the branding course, right? Yes, I did. And but, you, but I... did you do like a mood board? Uh, yes. Uh... Did you did you do a personal branding uh, mood board? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did this one. I actually wanted to combine okay. blue with, blue with uh with uh, something like gold. Uh, and I wanted to use my uh eye color because it re like represents me. I have yeah. blue eyes and something like that. I want to have a connection between the website and my and me. I I think having this goldish with blue can be complementary colors and they they can work very well. Uh, also, the blue is the color of uh, trust and things like that. That's how I start. Okay, so I I, I want to say okay, I want I want to say something. This is important. First of all, what I, what we're seeing here is completely not what we're seeing yeah. on your website. I know this is kind of like strong golden blue or, or golden teal and black and white, which we'll talk about in a second. In your website, it's kind of like retro vibe. It's brown and kind of like exactly. beige. It's completely different feeling. It is. Completely different. It's, it's, a, it's something different. It's like, I, I understand how things should work, but I couldn't done this because I cannot, I cannot change the way I look and my clothing and the environment in which I What made. is that? What is that? Can you show me the original photo just to Sure. Okay, so this but this looks color corrected already. Like okay, this so this is this is the original one. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's look at the at the original one for a second. Is this the original one? I, I have so many shadows in my Yeah, it's it I, I can, maybe, like I maybe you this has a lot more detail in it. Yeah. Oh, show me the ones with the computer. They are actually very bad because I my my camera has a four point five fish eye. Yeah. Yeah, and it was like the, the, those are only the ones that you can actually see them, but the rest of them they are like very blurish. Even this one, see, it's kind of like yeah. But in low light, it looks like this was food. shot at at night time, where the the rest of them were shot during daytime. Day, yeah, exactly. So I wanted to make something like this, maybe for collaboration section, not for. Um, I actually want to have something. And like, again, you you did it on your own, and you can go and do it again. Yes, I have a friend that's working on an office, and we can go there and do some photos. Yeah, go to the one again where on the left where you're next to the window. I, su I suggest to begin with this one uh, on the left where you're, yeah. Yeah, these ones next to the window, yeah. Here, these ones? 
Okay. So let's, let's, let's do two things. Number one, can you send me one of these, the ones that you actually chose um, and, and send it over to me, upload it here in the, in the chat so I can open it up and we can, uh, I can work on it together with you. Yeah. This one. Yeah. So before, before I open up Photoshop and try to to play around with it a little bit. I wanted to go back into your mood board. What I want you to pay attention to is that there's actually the designs that you have here are actually black and white, which in fashion is very, very common. If, because your references here are, they, they look like from fashion, right? Mm -hmm. And so a lot of fashion is black and white with touches of color. Uh, the What you have in the bottom, yeah, bottom middle, which is just gold and blue, is another, it's, the, so you basically have here two different palettes, which one of them is black and white, which you have right. two examples, and one of them is gold and blue, which you have one example. Okay. In a way, you haven't really made up your mind. And then again, in the actual design, you've used something completely different. Yeah. So let's, I'm going to try to apply one of them Let's try two options. I'm going to try one which is black and white and has just a splash of a little color. And then one which is actually kind of like blue and gold and see how that looks like. Okay. So uh, I'm going to stop your screen share and I'm going to download this image and try to open it up and play around with it. And Katrin, I saw the... Okay. So Katrin, are these questions for Andrew? What is the purpose of your website? Is it a personal branding website to show off your style? I guess ideally you won't was, but I feel a bit disconnect and I don't know why. Ryan, can you maybe explain what I mean? Yeah, I understand. So it's, <laughs> do, uh, do you want to answer? Yeah, so I, I want to do a... Yeah, it's kind of like both. It's a personal brand showing my work, like showing my portfolio also. Like you can meet me and you can also see what I worked on. But yeah, if you feel disconnected, I think it's because I'm doing probably something wrong. Or something it's, I don't know, because I work everything backwards. I, I've started with that um, uh, template, but I, like I couldn't use it. Like it, there was something that didn't connect with what I was trying to show about myself. And then I show my image and then I started from there and create the palette and everything. So it's... I think... Honestly, it's kind of like, it's probably your first website. You're still not necessarily sure about your niche. So this is a, you're still not sure who are your clients. So this is a personal website portfolio that is basically trying to show personality. And this is where his personality goes, I think, uh, in around these areas of premium, fashion. You, you can see the way that he created, like into, intuitively, the choices that he made tells me that this is where he wants to go. Okay. So just to try and work around this, I've created like a section, let's say it's a hero section and let's take this, uh, let's take the image. So now we have it here. It's actually pretty big. So we can play around with the crop of how we want this to be set up. Um, maybe... And now you can see that because this is wider than your original website, then we not sure how to crop this, but let's say that this is good. But now you can see that if I want my text to be here. I actually forgot to say that. Yeah. That actually edited, edited. You see, you have that bar in, in from my foot. Yeah. I would probably try and remove it. So let's I, I see removed how it. No, I, I can send you. Ah, uh, never mind. Remove bar. Let's see if Photoshop can oh, do that. Like that fast? I don't think it works. <laughs> do you think, think it works? Oh. Uh -uh. Let's see. I think I tried something and... You never know. Or, yeah. Maybe your yours is smarter than mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's the... I've just updated it yesterday, so maybe it's smarter and maybe oh. not. But bam, it worked like magic. <laughs> oh, that was so yeah, good. Man. Okay. It's actually so now, multiplied my foot. I don't know. Actually, you know what? So now <laughs> let me remove the plant as well. We don't need the plant. Remove plant. My God, do you know that when I started in my advertising agency, I would get this task for like 
two hours and it was like clean this up so we can put the text here and then i would have yeah. to go and erase it with the stamp tool and just like yeah. spend hours doing it and now it's like <laughs> oh well <laughs> this nobody's doing that anymore Okay, so now we have clear. Now we've cleared up some space, and we can use it here to, um, to put. Yeah. So let's do. I'm going to compress this. Let's try and do two things. One that is going to be black and white. Um, so let me see how I'm going to do this. I'm going to add uh, black and white. Black and white um, correction, kind of like how do you call this? I don't remember correction layer that's turning it into black and white, and now I can choose between presets to see, you know, different contrasts, see which one looks uh, better. Okay. So high contrast is good. I think high contrast looks good. Let's try some other ones. Infrared, actually infrared looks better with more contrast. Lighter. Okay. Maximum like black, nice. maximum white. Natural density also looks good. Okay, so I think in yellow filler, okay, I think natural density was actually bright and more detail here. So I think this looks actually pretty good. And now let's bring in some text. So forgive me if I'm going to write your name incorrectly. Um, no maybe worries. you can help me spell it. Yeah. A so it is Andre, Andre like this or with Y or? Yeah, yeah he's perfect. S-A-N-D-O-F. D-O-F. All right. Yep. Okay, so let's go ahead, align it to the left. We can make it bigger. And let's go ahead and change this to font similar to what you have, which was... Oh, it's Bondi... It's Bondi Do? Moda. Or... No. Uh, which one is it? Bondoni Moda. I, that's how you say it? Bodoni? Yeah. Bodoni. Bodoni yeah. Moda. Yeah, Bodoni. Yeah. Um, then I can go ahead and make it uppercase. Okay. One thing I would do is I would whoa make the the lines kind of like pretty tight together. Okay. So and maybe we will put this behind this in a second, but maybe we, we also don't need to. And then another one, which was web designer, right? Web designer, it was on top. Mm -hmm. Let's make this black. And maybe let's see our type choices here. Uh, maybe not book. Maybe this would be italic. Maybe this would actually be web designer, not not in uppercase. Maybe that would look. Yeah, that's also stylish, right? So not everything needs to be uppercase. Um, okay. Or maybe <laughs> at the bottom, uh, at the top, we can stay at the top. Okay. So first of all, you can already see that even black. Well, this is white on white, so that's not a good idea, but maybe this is white. Already kind of like looks cleaner, I guess you can say. Um, and maybe here we can add like for this web designer, let's add a layer. Let's make kind of like a golden gradient here. So let's see if we have purple, pinks, oranges. Yeah, we have some, that's not really golden. Well, let's take this gradient. Uh, let's try to make something like this. Whoa. Nope. Um, and I'm basically going to put this inside of this web designer. No, it doesn't look good because it's bright on bright. So it doesn't look good to use that. It might be well if it's on dark, right? So here mm -hmm. on dark, this could could work. But on light, it's not going to work. But maybe if we had here one of these blue gradients, like this professional blues that you were talking about, let's see the blue gradients, uh, maybe something like this. Okay, so this is kind of like, okay, so now it's, goddamn, this menu thing that we have. 
Now it's black and white with a little touch of color, right? Right. Um, we can also we can also do something like I don't know if I want to, but we can add like a line or something like this that can add a touch of color. But I don't know if we I don't know if we need that. One more thing that we can do is I'm gonna group this as an option and duplicate it so that we can see two different options. One thing that we can do instead of this black and white is we can give it kind of like a color overlay. So let's do gradient map. Basically what gradient map does, where is gradient map? Gradient map. Basically it maps out because the image is black and white, it can remap the color. So instead of blacks, we can pick some like dark blue. Okay. And in, so now look what happened. Like all the blacks are now yeah, yeah. blue. And instead of white, we can pick maybe just like a different blue that is slightly slightly lighter. And now we have this kind of like color wash on top of it. And now we can we can do the maybe now we can do the call the golden thing that you've wanted. So here for this, um let's let's do it over this text. Let's do the gradients, let's pull the golden one again. Oh, does it has gray iris pastels neutral? No. Oranges. Second one should look like. Yeah, it's, it's something like this. And I'm gonna clip it inside this. So now this is more similar to, you know, what you had in your mood board. Again, and you can play around with this. We can go into the gradient map and say we want this to be darker, right? I don't, I don't remember. It would be helpful, by the way, if I were doing this for real. I maybe open up the your reference here so I can really, literally steal the color palette from the image that you like and try to maybe it needs to be darker here. And this is, uh, maybe it's darker, maybe not. I don't know. It gives, the, the darker I make it, like the more contrast it gives kind of yeah. to this. Okay, so now you have a color palette that I think is more in line with what you are trying to do. Kind of like, hey, it's mm -hmm. premium. It's the blue is like trustworthy and, and that kind of stuff. Uh, now, if we wanted to, to kind of like do this effect, let's see if we remove, and by the way, now I have two options. So can always, always good to have like two options, which one I like better. Uh, yeah. you only know something if you like something or not, when you can like compare it and a, a good thing to do is kind of like look one next to it, next to each other. So I can go ahead and duplicate this file and then have like this one here and that one here and then. Okay, which one looks better? Which one I like better? What's your intuition? Well, mine. Yeah. Uh, I think the black None and white. None of these. These sucks. <laughs> no, no, no. I think the black and white. I, I'm trying. <laughs> like I, you actually opened my 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 mind and my eyes to something that I didn't think that I I've seen uh so far. It's like a cold shower. I don't know how to call it. But the thing is in the yep. left, I actually see my mood board uh, to life and I actually understand what my mistake was. And in the right, I can see that feeling. I, I can all feed, see the feeling of magazine more. I have this feeling more now that's in black and white. And with that text is like, is this guy, is this guy a story or something? It's like web designer is not belonging here. Like it's more like a, I don't know, survivor from the, I don't know, something crash plane. Yeah. And yeah, I agree. I agree. That's why, I, you know what? If you had the exact same photo, that chair, that window in the background, because it's a good layout and you can see that it gives you a lot of space to play around here. But instead of a magazine, you would hold your, your uh, computer, your laptop. <laughs> Generate that would film. that would be epic. Instead of that would be great. Adobe Photoshop generate fill, uh, remove oh uh, magazine. <laughs> that's Love that's it. great. I have not thought about this, but let's try it out. Uh, Got to try it. That that's works, a great idea. I, I think it's no. Nah. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Will this I think, work? I, Replace I think it's magazine with MacBook Pro. I think he's going to Here transfer. We go. Here we go. <laughs> Everybody, very quickly, vote in the comments. Will it work?
I don't win think so. or lose. What do you think? Nah, win. No Simon says win. No. <laughs> okay, so this is option number one. We have multiple options. This is option number two. Not really good. Uh no, option number four. No, no, no. Uh, this is uh, no. Uh, no, no, it doesn't look bad. Maybe it doesn't look good. <sighs> I mean, I would yeah, it's not it's not worth it. I mean, it's just like I would I would go ahead and take that photo again. If it's not if it's not too difficult, go ahead and do it. I mean, daylight, if you don't have, you know, professional lighting equipment, natural light is your best friend. You're sitting next to a window. That's great. The design of the chair is great. The fact that, you know, you have skyline. I mean, in terms of layout, this is great. It's just that we need to replace the the magazine with a computer, I think, to send the right story. Mm hmm Absolutely. And hmm. so is this the biggest issue? Like what, what else is there that I can change or improve? It's, um, no, it's, I think it was, again, it's, uh, not necessarily the, the, to me, the colors and the colors we're not telling the the colors and the image. We're not telling exactly the story, the right story in my mind, because it was retro and it was like, again, magazine and not like a professional design settings. So those were kind of like in terms of storytelling, right? Those were my my points where I thought that we can improve. Okay. Catherine so I also should... said that it, it it's nice that it stands out. It's not the cliche web developer and web designer page and I think it can work well and attract certain types of client. I was Look, thinking the about the same is, thing. The, the truth is you can only be you and it's great that you're not like everybody else. So, you know, do you. And if you think that's cool, that's great. The, the other people who will think it's cool are exactly the people who you need to work with. So I understand that that actually makes sense. I I'm not trying to be something that I'm not. I'm actually trying to. I I think no. That... no. I'm I, what I'm saying is maybe my advice to you is kind of like forcing you into a path that is not, not what you want to be. And I'm like I encourage you to do oh, your thing. I, I actually yeah that's true because I I really think as I'm going through this course and trying to build everything that you 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 teach in this course I think I'm actually this covering myself more and more and I also discovering uh, where my probably where what my niche is and where I'm going for and I think I'm not understanding everything from the beginning but I think for everyone that's watching this is a journey that you cannot know the, the end result that you want to achieve and you maybe discover it as you go and I think that's very good and we can also encourage ourselves to discover more about who we are and what we want to create in this world, right? So, and it never ends. I'm also discovering this. Actually, right yeah, now. it never ends. Like... Never ends. But <laughs> I, at least, at least you have some more questions that you ask. You have the answers for about yourself, and because if you if you asked me before I started this course, what do you do for a living? I would say maybe a, like an entrepreneur or something, because I try to create businesses and things like that. But now I can call myself maybe a web designer or something or not. But I'm 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 going there. I'm trying to achieve something. Yeah. I'm I having this purpose for now. Yeah, I that think that was I'm, a really fun deep dive. Yeah, thank you. But it's uh, also for everyone that's watching. I think it's a uh, very inspiring. Or also of what you've done, and I think everyone here is grateful. You 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 created multiple things that uh, help us discover more about ourselves, and I'm I'm thankful for that. I appreciate it. Thank you for the thank you for the kind words. Yeah, also great comments right now. Uh, Andre's style and taste is very specific. Uh, very nice, very nice. All right, thank you everybody. Uh, it was a really fun fun uh, call. We should do this. We should do this more often. We should just <laughs> take somebody and work deeply on on a single problem or a project and try to see how we can raise the right questions, maybe not necessarily reach the solutions, but at least open our heads uh, to more possibilities. Amazing. All right. I will see you here same time next week. Have an yeah. awesome week.